Are you trying to scav Lighthouse, but keep running into stuff like this? game bro then don't sweat it if you're like me and you're not the greatest with pvp and you're still trying to get better at it but still need to make some money in the process this is a relatively low risk scav run that i've been doing for a while now it's made me millions of rubles and hopefully it does the same for you the one thing about this run is you are going to want to have flea market unlocked that don't unlock till level 15 so if you don't have that unlocked you can still sell a lot of the stuff to traders but the majority of what we find is going to be sold on the flea market a lot of what you're going to find in this run is going to be through bags, medical bags, weapon cases, um, and loose spawns and things like that. And the majority of that stuff goes for good money on flea. So if you don't have that unlocked, you're probably going to want to watch another scav run video. But if you got it, we good. Now let's get into it. For this particular run, I did spawn in the north. So this is the route that I'm going to take. Basically, just loot the village, the houses, gas station, the apartment building, go up to chalet, then out to the beach. Alternatively, you can literally run the same route in reverse if you spawn on the south side of the map. One thing that I don't do in this run is go for the stash spots. There are a few of them, but with this loot route, you kind of got to go out of your way to find them. So I'm just focusing on getting in the houses, getting out, getting my loot, and then doing a quick reset and running it back. So like I said before, since I spawned on this side, I'm going to go ahead and loot through all these houses, work down the road into the apartment building, and then from there hit the store, then up to chalet. In the video a lot, you'll just see me kind of looking in random places and stuff like that. I'm just looking for my white dot to pop up. I'm still learning the map and a lot of the loose spawns, so it never hurts to check any of the tables or the corners of the houses. Another thing I'll mention real quick is with this run, I typically try to focus on that 10 to 15 per slot rule, meaning that if I pick something up, I want it to at least be worth 10 to 15K rubles per slot, whether that's in the traders or on the flea market. Now prices with flea market can fluctuate. Some things could be worth 50K and you go into a raid, get out, and now it's worth 10K. But at the same time, if you can try to learn what's worth money and what's not, you're gonna pick up a lot less junk and a lot more money.
Now from here, you could just run south down the road, take a left through the bushes and hit dead scab before you go to the first chalet. But I like to play it safe, especially when I know I got like 100 to 200K on me already. It's not a lot of money, but it's definitely a good start. So I'm gonna play it safe, take the long way around. I got plenty of time to do so, and I'm less likely to run into somebody on this part of the map. Now, seeing the open doors and the open safes is obviously telling me that someone's already been here and looted it. However, I'm going to look through the bags and everything anyway, just because you never know what you're going to find or what people are just going to leave behind.
So this is one of those moments where I took a gamble and I did end up losing. I thought for some reason the big stick might have been worth more than the Iskra, but unfortunately it wasn't. I ended up selling it for like 2K. So sometimes that'll happen, but you just got to rock with it. And again, I missed another jacket on the left of that room as I was leaving out. So now I've missed about three toolboxes and one jacket, two jackets, I believe. So I am going a little bit fast and missing stuff, but you never know. Sometimes you could have mark keys. You could have anything in those spots. So make sure you're checking them. Don't be a bad scab like me. You stupid, ignorant son of a bitch, dumb bastard. Jesus Christ, I met some dumb bastards in my time, but you outdo them all. Get over there. One reason I always check this spot is because I have found weapon repair kits spawned next to the dead scav, and I always check dead scavs. I've found everything from tank batteries to intelligence folders, so you never know what you're gonna find. So always check those spots. And just like that, we are 100% full up and ready to dip out. All right, so we made it out of the raid, got some decent stuff. Now it's time to sell. So I'm gonna use these three squares to get all the money put into. That way I know exactly how much I made. Now what I typically do is I look at the flea prices and I'll usually price 5 to 10k underneath that to try to sell it a little bit quicker. I usually still make out alright even with that fee. So if you got a little more patience you can definitely try to haggle and wheel and deal a little bit more. But for the sake of the video I just wanted to sell everything and just show you what kind of money you can be working with.
And just like that, 20 minutes on a scav run and we made about half a million dollars. So obviously there's more ways to make money on this map, but they definitely come with a lot more risk. You could always run into a PMC or a greedy scav in one of these houses, but nine times out of 10, I feel like it's relatively safe and I make a lot of money while doing it. Well, I appreciate you checking out the video. If you want to catch me live, I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash bro janky. Come through, chill some time, let's squad up and I'll see you in the next one.